Okay, so here's an update. Um, I changed the drive system to the rack and pinion from CNC router parts. Um, obviously, I did have the Omega drive there, but now it's down here and the rack's there. The rack extends all the way to the end on that side as well as this side. And I have the, the motors now on the inside, more of a clearance thing because I obviously don't have a lot of space in here. Um, I put the limit switches now on the torch head so that you know, if it ever drives too far, it'll just come in contact with the motor and switch off. I also added one to the Z-Locks here, uh, down to where, uh, if for some reason the torch drives all the way down, um, it'll hit the limit switch there. Um, there's obviously then limit switch on this side as well. Um, what else did I change? I put a different cable on here. Uh, basically one cable that runs all the way out for my different signals. Um, for the, the solenoid here to switch, also for the um, limit switches and um, the, for the torch probe. So everything's running over one cable um, rather than having a bunch of different ones. Uh, that helps smooth things out a little bit. And uh, with the CNC router part drives, it has a lot more torque. And uh, so now I can attach a router and to do some wood carving and some light engraving on metal. Um, so now I'll just jog it back and forth to kind of demonstrate the difference now. And that's it. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, if anyone's interested in building, you know, a gantry of this size, this length, I would definitely recommend going with the rack and pinion over the uh, Omega Drive because you get a little bit of backlash over the long distances. But with this, it seems to be running awesome. Pretty happy with it. And uh, yeah, so I'll post some other videos once I get the router on there and uh, I'm able to um, engrave some stuff.